Jesse, you know what this weekend is? What is it? It's Labor Day weekend. You gonna go into labor on Labor Day? No, no, no. I'll be just visiting, you know. You know, I'll be out on by the ocean. Just by the ocean? Just enjoying it. Taking it in. Taking it in. You gonna be barefoot in the sand? I guess. Are you? Get some seashells. I'm gonna be celebrating my mama's 80th birthday. Well, bless you. Yes, mama. I am. Happy bless birthday, mama. mama. And I hope you won't labor too much, Joe. No, no, it won't be. No problem at all. Good. No problem at all. Well, welcome to your old news update. This here is a very artistic looking. You is he fits? What do you think? I think you look like an old time movie director. Do I? Do I? I think Action! I think Action. yes. Action speaks louder than words. Well, let's hope we don't have to yell cut. Yeah. Let's hope not. We're one takes here. That's right. And let's, you can probably tell that. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, well, well let's shout out to our sponsors, Eagle Crest Retirement Community, 50, 1501 East Magnolia. Yeah, if you want to retire, that's the place to go. That's right. Headley's Clothing, 1829 South 9th. Yeah, it dresses the elite of Salina. <laughs> hey, you fit those clothes too, buddy. He has skinny guy clothes. And Smoky Hill Museum getting ready for all kinds of stuff this fall. Street fair. That's right. And plus the World War II 1940s. Stuff. Don't miss that. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. That's pretty good stuff. Topping the headlines. From yesteryear, you're up, Mr. Driscoll. All right. 50 years ago, September 4th, 1962. Is fall really here? Is it? Is it? A, yes, it's a, I it's hope a fall so. time. Has, all right. Here's a good one. Has summer packed up her flowery baggage and gone south? Oh, I like that. Well, I don't know about that, a salon and saleswoman said Tuesday morning, but we're really having a run on sweaters. Aha! Uh -huh. There was a reason for the run. People were scurrying around downtown Salina, rubbing their arms, and downtown thermometers were reading a cool, cool 52 degrees oh, one time mercy. Tuesday morning. The official low temperature was 54 from 7 to 10 a.m. at the municipal airport. Wow. That was back when the municipal airport was out that away. That's right. Well, I haven't quite hit that in August, but no. I wouldn't be surprised. September 7th, 1962. Attendance has fallen off, said Park Superintendent Irv Rickles. I like that. Irv. Any, Irv, any relation to Don? <laughs> yeah. I think people must believe we've closed for the season. Well, hold it. Now, this one says Rickless. We need to worry about that. Rickless was referring to the shuffleboard and croquet areas, ping pong tables, horseshoe pits, and tennis courts in Oakdale Park, right over there. Ah. We. We're open every night throughout the summer, Rickless said, unless it gets too cold. Oh, well, we'll find out what name that really is. That's right. I think it's Rickless because it said Rickless twice and Rickles once. All right. I well, like Rickless. Rickless. Is, yeah. He's a yeah. reckless driver. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, September 8th, 1937. Oh boy. With 300 petitions in circulation for the proposed new county lake and park, members of the Chamber of Commerce Committee in charge of launching the project announced today that between 50 and 75 of those petitions have been returned fully signed. Boy, that rings a bell, doesn't yeah. it? Just make sure they're notarized, buddy. So that's right. That's right. As that, the that, LGBT people are finding out. That's kind of important. You have that yep. little stamp of approval. That's right. Or disapproval. Uh huh. September 4th, 1912. Speeding on the streets of Salina, even after midnight, is not an overlooked occurrence and may be punished with a sufficient fine, even a hundred years ago. Yeah. At least that was what the offenders of Charged Saturday $5. night. Yeah, yeah, but back then that bought 10 gallons of gas. But they didn't need gas, all they needed was a bale of hay. That's right, uh, that. At least that was what the offenders of Saturday night found out yesterday yesterday evening when they appeared in police court in a fine of $25 and cost was given to the driver of the automobile. Louis Ford. Louis Ford. Boy, there's a, there's, there's a some people Fords. In, there, there's some yeah. there in Brookville. Right? That's right. The officers say that the car was making a speed on the Salina streets that would have put the fire truck to shame. And when it was first noticed, it passed the city hall on 5th like the Midnight Express. You'll have to ask the Ford family if they had a relative that used to be a speedy driver back That's right. years ago. That's right. That's well, right. Anyway, September 6, 1912, wrap oh, it up. Wrap it up. If anyone doubts this really is a peach year, yeah. they should see <laughs> some of the fine fruit which W.W. W. Norris of Sino 2 West Park has gathered from a seedling peach tree in his yard. This is the first year for the tree to bear, and the peaches are remarkable in size and quality, being much larger than the fruit of a number of budded peach trees in the same yard. 
It required only three of the peaches to skip the scales at one pound. That was a fruitful year. A fruitful year. That's so right. So be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. Yes, and you have a good laborious weekend, and we'll see you yesterday.